You all live in the 44th Congressional District, I presume. There are 800,000 people in this district. Now check this out, 800,000 people currently. 560,000 of them will die needlessly and prematurely due to chronic disease. And chronic disease's best friend is soda pop. Then there's the cost, then there's the suffering, and it's needless. And it's your family, it's your friends, it's your neighbors, it's those of you that don't crossfit. And you know something, we don't, it, it's not good enough to like, to hell with them, we're, we're CrossFitters, it's not our problem, it is our problem. We're role models in the community, we have friends and family that aren't protecting themselves, you've got neighbors, you live here, this is your community. Take it back from Soda Pop. And Soda Pop's best friend is Isidore Hall. I watched him take money from the American Beverage Association and then duck a critical vote in his own health committee on SB 203 would have just simply put on the can that this causes tooth decay, obesity, and diabetes. And, and, and the reason they want to put that on there is because it causes tooth decay, obesity, and diabetes. And none of those are any good. In fact, it not only causes that, but Alzheimer's, a growing list of cancers, heart disease, stroke, and it is through all of those mechanisms that 560,000 people currently living are gonna die prematurely. I need you to vote. I need you to vote. This is your community. Take it back from Soda Pop. Take it back. Don't let Isidore Hall have this. But you know what? Our health is so important. And we want people to know the impact. You've got to tell them to come out and vote.